So sir, we are standing here uh, near the lake named uh, Maninjau, Maninjau, which is uh, about 1,100 kilometers, sorry, 1,100 meters yeah. above uh, sea level. Sea level. So, uh, in this uh, village of uh, Lawang in West Sumatra, this lake is also a very famous one, you yes. know, uh, in, in the province. Yes. So can you tell me, sir, uh, in West Sumatra, what are the other tourism sites that also, you know, attract many tourists like this? Right? Okay, first of all, that's uh, West Sumatra. We have uh, Maninjau Lake, which is one of the more the most famous place in West Sumatra itself. And then where you actually can do a paragliding here. Mm. Like uh, sometimes ago, you see somebody went down with a yeah. parasail gliding. Everyone can do it, sir. Everyone can do it. And not not the, only the professional, no. No, okay. if you are not professional, of course you will be like. A tandem with somebody else, mm, right? Okay, and everyone get have chance to do that. And actually, today is a good win, you know, because the wind is not that strong. And then uh, from here, you can also uh, doing like a uh, trekking mm. down to the lake, which is take like uh, two and a half hours till three hours walking down. And of course, depend of your edge, mm, you know. Actually, like yeah. our edge is take like two and a half hours or three hours. But if you are oldest, of course, it might take longer. And then, uh, actually, down here, you can see, like, uh, the endemic animal here. They do have a tiger, of course. You don't hope to see it because you <laughs> might not see it yeah. anymore after that. And they have also uh, a kind of hornbill, which is... Uh, bird. Yeah, a kind of bill, a hornbill, which is... Uh, normally, in the afternoon, you can see it. And then, uh, sometimes, uh, some people come here to do like bird watching and then you can see the bird feeding and something like that and then also uh, there are some kind of other activities which is uh, biking with a motorbike you know, a big, a big motorbike oh, okay. and then go around see there is a pass mm. you can go through all the way and down to the lake and that's quite fun also and then in this area actually in this place itself you can there is some place to sleep also there is a homestay here and down the lake also there is an homestay but the most uh, beautiful part is this part uh, I mean if you going to enjoy the view and the only problem sometimes we not always is lucky because the cloud always come over this place and then you cannot see down and then uh, because we are high yeah it's uh, 1150 meters from above sea level and then uh, the climate also changes very quick mm, I see, and sir. can be rain and a bit uh, chilly and a cold. But are there any, you know, lake on top of volcanoes like this in, in Sumatra? Sir? Yes. Uh, oh, in Sum when we talk about Sumatra, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. But in West Sumatra, there is another lake uh, called Singkarak. Mm. Actually, also a volcanic lake, that one. Mm. And we have at least four other lakes, a small lake also. In Talang, where we passed yesterday, there is also another lake over there. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, but this is the most beautiful. This is high. You know, you can see also the Indian Ocean from here. Yeah. And just a, uh, just a comparison a bit, you know, because like I can say a good number of Cambodian people, they, they travel to Bali because, you know, it's the most uh, popular destination in the yeah. world, I might say. Mm. Bali is beautiful, I agree. Yeah. Yes. But at the same time, you know, when I come to Sumatra, I mean, you know, the, the, the beauty is not bad, you know, like, like, I mean, it's still like comparable. Uh -huh. So, because you are, you know, an Indonesian, you are a tour guide, you, you went to many countries around the world. Can you make a comparison, you know, to, to Cambodian audiences, like between Bali and West Sumatra, sir? Like anything that you want to okay. compare, sir? Let, let's talk about Bali a bit. Yeah. Uh, yes. Bali, they have got uh, rice terrace, they have got uh, a lot of hotel, a lot of restaurant, and you can rent car, rent bike, uh, rent everything, right? And then Bali has a temple. The only thing we don't have in West Matra is a temple. We don't have temples, right? Even Hindu temples. Yeah, so Hindu yeah, temples yeah, yeah. or Buddhist temple we don't have. So, and the rest we do have. We have train, but we don't have train. And we have lake. We have rice terrace as you see today. And you actually can rent a car. We, you can arrange also like a tour, like a week tour or uh, we do a tour, two days, three days tour we have here. We have also a tour guide which is uh, doing a uh, uh, quite a few of the language too. The only uh, things that Sumatra is a big, big island, you know. And then uh, we, we might be very bad in promotion too. That's why 
not many tourists come down here. Oh, uh, actually, uh, uh, we do have a, like a, a guide hotel. We have enough, and then we, but we don't we don't have that much choice about restaurant actually. Res, restaurant only in the town. So maybe you, yeah. there are more local foods uh, than than you know yes. West, westernized food. Yeah. Yes, uh, we don't have that many choice of westernized foods except except we have to bring you to the main town. Mm. Yeah. So for for first timer, you know, travelers, maybe they have to be, you know, a bit like local. Yes. They have to live a bit like local to come here. Yeah. Like like backpacker, you know. <laughs> but of course, you yeah. can you can join like a tour that we can mm -hmm. arrange also food which is uh, suitable with every, mm -hmm. yeah. especially the Cambodian uh, traveler. Yeah. Yes, sir. Because at the same time, the government, you know, of Cambodia and, and Indonesia, they just signed, you know, an agreement, a sister you know, province agreement between Phnom Penh and West Sumatra. And, uh, you know, for the last several days, I've been to Sumatra, West Sumatra, to be specific. There are, you know, the cultural site, historical site, and uh, right now, the natural site. Sir. So when they sign the agreement on tourism like this, um, you know, if they only were to come, you know, which site would you recommend them first, sir? Like cultural, historical, or natural, sir? Uh, both. <laughs> but well, we yeah. we had a, a great culture actually, which is uh, based on Hindu or Buddhist culture actually, like a Minangkabau culture, you know. That's we were we were in that side before, mm -hmm. but when Islam come, then everything is become a uh, mix uh, together, which is uh, our culture is based on Muslim now. Mm -hmm. And in in another hand about nature, you know, you will love it. You will love the nature of West Sumatra, and then. The atmosphere also, uh, especially for a Cambodian or Asia people, actually we have uh, almost the same test actually. And then, uh, yeah, but uh, the, when we talk about popularity of the area, this is what uh, the problem we have. Yes, we don't promote enough, you know. We don't. We don't have. Uh, maybe we do. We need to work more hard to promote this area to become like a real uh, tourist destination. Yes, sir. And my last question, like, uh, is, is there any, you know, like, you know, let's say something that, you know, first timer should know before coming, for example, or the villagers know or want to know how to speak English. Communication is very important. Yes. Or maybe, you know, like, which month is the Ramadan month so that, you know, they can oh, avoid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There is one month in, in the year, right? Yeah. Ramadan is always moving. Oh. And for next year, Ramadan will be somewhere in March, April. Oh, that will be Ramadan. So in Ramadan months, of course, uh, you can only eat for your if you are not Muslim in the hotel. But still, there is a restaurant open for non-Muslim people, and that's not a problem. But of course, the best months to come over here is from uh, February to August. February, and that's August. not so much rain. Yeah. yeah, that's not so much rain. And in this month, you know, normally like uh, October to January, uh, more rain actually. Yeah. So, how about the English uh, capacity, sir? Actually, uh, quite a lot of people who speak English here. Quite a lot of people. Yeah. And then, I mean, uh, you stuck to one place like this, and you can always find somebody like this uh, who talk English yeah. also. I mean, it's not like when you are traveling to, uh, let's say, where's that? Maybe Jambi or other other province, which is not a tourist area, you know. Yeah, yeah. So in West Matra, we, we do have like more than 300 guides who speak English oh, okay. and speak Dutch, uh, French, Germany, and Dutch, uh, you know. And maybe we have problem with uh, maybe Mandarin, we don't have Chinese, <laughs> yeah, okay. we don't have that many guides for that one. And we do have a Spanish also. Yeah. Yeah. So tourists must uh, look out for the religious yes. month of the year, sir. Yes, yes. So, yeah. Okay, sir, and uh, yes, I hope more Cambodian tourists and of course my other tourists in, in, in Asia, ASEAN, yeah. will come to visit Sumatra, sir. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, yeah. So thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.